with Fiber Fox Studios and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to uh, work your front panels on your kimono cardigan for sizes large extra large and the women's plus size 1x 2x so you've been working your cardigan from the foundation ovals up and your stitches are looking like this you have your complete back panel done and what you're going to do is go ahead and flip your panel so that your foundation ovals are back up at the top and once you have those ovals back up at the top, what you're going to need to do for this particular size is you're going to need to count five ovals over from, in this case, from left to right and right to left and on each side. And you're going to count over. Right now we're going to do the right to left. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, and five. And in that fifth oval you're going to march, mark that stitch with a stitch marker or a spare piece of yarn that you have. On the other side of your panel you're going to work from left to right counting over five foundation ovals and you're going to mark that fifth one. In the center that's going to be left open with the foundation ovals and we'll be doing our trim around that but we want to make sure that we form our two front panels correctly so you're going to make sure that you mark five foundation ovals over on each side going working from the side towards the center mark that oval and then you're going to get your yarn ready to put onto the project and to do that you're going to go ahead and get your little slip knot ready and you're going to take your crochet hook and you're going to insert it into the foundation oval you're going to go ahead and bring up the loop through the foundation oval and then we're going to do a single crochet to lock that in place or I'm sorry it's going to be a a, uh, a chain to lock it in place and then we're going to go ahead and chain up two one and two so this counts as our first double crochet and you're working these front panels exactly as you've been working your back panels only in a shorter width than what you were doing the back panel. So you're only doing part of your back panel to do these um, front panels. So I'm going to do two double crochets directly into this foundation oval. And that gives me three double crochets total. So we're starting out just like we did in the beginning. This is technically going to be row two because these foundation ovals are acting as our row one right now. And now you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to move over to this next foundation oval and we're going to do our three single crochets. One, two, and three. And now we're going to go ahead and chain five again. Three, four, and five. And we're going to move over to the next foundation oval and we're going to do our five double crochets just like we were doing on the back panel. Go ahead and do five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to move over to our next foundation oval. And we are going to put in three single crochets. One, two, and three. And now we're going to go ahead and do five chains again. One, two, three four and five and now we're here at the end where we've marked so this is going to be the end of our front panel so we're going to end this row just like we did on row two when we started out and all of your rows are going to be ending and beginning just like you did on the back panel just with a shorter repeat of the stitches in between so in this case we're going to do just like we started the row three double crochets into this foundation oval so one, two, and three. Now we're going to chain up five. One, two, three, four, and five. 
we're going to turn our work and we're going to do a double crochet directly into this very first stitch and then a double crochet in each of the stitch following so we're going to go ahead and wrap our yarn and do our double crochet right into that very first stitch just like so and then do our second double crochet and our third double crochet this chain five that we did to begin with is counting as a double crochet in a chain two space so you will see that down here at the end of the row we're going to go ahead and chain four this time and we're going to move directly over into the single crochets that we put and we're going to skip the first one and go into the second one right there in the center and do a single crochet now we're going to chain four And now we're going to move over here to these five double crochets and like we did on the back panel we are going to do a double crochet in the first three of these then a chain five double crochet back into the same center stitch the third one and then a double crochet in each of these so let's do that together it's our first double crochet here is our second double crochet and last but not least, we're going to have our ball of yarn roll into the picture. And we're going to do our third. Now we're going to chain five, two, three, four, and five. And now we're going to take and do a double crochet right back into that same stitch, just like we did on the back panel. two and three we're doing a double crochet in each of the next two stitches left so that brings us to three double crochets a chain five three double crochets that are all sitting on top of the five double crochets from the previous row now we're going to chain four one two three and four and now we're going to go over here skipping over all of this and going into these uh, single crochets we're going to skip the first one and go immediately into the second one one two three four chain four again and we're gonna now we're over here at the end of this row already so we're gonna go ahead and do a double crochet in the next three double crochets right here then a chain two and a double crochet back into the same last stitch right here so let's do our double crochet There's one, two, and for the third one, this was a chain three to start this row, so we're going to count up from the bottom. One, two, and three. And making sure we got in that top chain. Now we're going to chain two, and we're going to do a double crochet right back into that same space. So as you see we have already got something building up here we have the start of our front panel it is so easy to do and this works up so fast you're really going to find that you're going to fly through this if the back panel took you several hours or even a day or a couple of days crocheting at different times you're going to find that you're going to do these front panels so quickly you're going to have this cardigan all together in no time flat so we're going to resume with what we're doing we have row two here row three here so now we're going to do row four so we're going to go chain up three and we're going to turn our work again and we're going to do three double crochets into this chain two space so this chain three that we did counts as our first one we're gonna have four total here so we're gonna we have our first one so now we're gonna do number two here's number three and number four do, 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 do. now we're gonna chain three one two three and we're going to do a double crochet in each of these double crochets from the previous row. Here's one, two, three, 
two and three. So now we're going to do a chain three again and we're going to go to that single crochet from the previous row and put a single crochet right into that and we're going to chain three again. And now what we're going to do is we're going to move over here to this section. We're going to do three double crochets, one in each of these three double crochets from the previous row. Let's go ahead and do that. Here's one. Here's two. And here's three. We're going to chain three again. And then we're going to do our seven double crochets in that five chain five space that we created. So we're going to stick seven double crochets in there. Sorry, I'm messing with my yarn. It is wanting to tangle up on me just off camera. So here's my first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And you can see my little yarn knot coming at us. Get that twisted apart. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And we're going to do three double crochets right here into the top of these three double crochets from the previous row. There's one. Here's two. And here's three. And now we're going to chain three and we're going to move over here and put a single crochet right into the single crochet from the previous row. We're going to chain three again. Now we're going to move over here into this set of three double crochets. We're right here at the end and we're going to put a double crochet in each of the double crochets from the previous row. And three. And now what we're going to do is we're going to chain three and we're going to put four double crochets into this chain that we began this row with, this previous row with. The first three of this chain count as our double crochet. So we're going to do three double crochets right here and then we're going to do our fourth in the top of the chain three. So you're going to wrap your yarn, go ahead and do those double crochets. We're going to do two. and three and last but not least one two three up we're going to put it in the third chain up from the bottom our fourth double crochet and now we're going to chain four and we're going to turn our work and we're going to be doing our double crochet clusters just like we did before we're going to skip this first chain right here and we're going to move over here into the second chain and do our first double crochet cluster. Just like so. We're going to chain three. We're going to skip the next stitch and we're going to do a double crochet cluster right here. So here's my first. Second, we've got three on the hook. And third, with four on the hook, we're going to pull through all four, and we're going to chain five, four, and five. And now what we're going to do is that same cluster where we're going to cluster together these three double crochets over here to these three double crochets over here, bridging that gap is what I would call that. So I'm going to wrap my yarn around my hook, insert into that first double crochet, pull up a loop, and pull through two and hold it two loops on the hook. Now I'm going to wrap my yarn again, insert into that double crochet, pulling up a loop, pull through two and hold it. Now I've got three on my hook. I'm going to wrap again, insert into that third double crochet, pulling up a loop, pull through two, and now I've got four on my hook and I'm going to hold it there. I'm going to wrap and I'm going to skip over all of this coming over here to these double crochets and I'm going to do the same exact thing we just did, pulling up a loop, pulling through two. Now I have five on the hook going to wrap my yarn, insert into the next stitch, pulling up a loop, pull through two. I've got six on my hook, I'm going to hold them. And now I'm going to go into this last double crochet, pull up a loop, pull through two. I've got seven on my hook. I'm going to wrap my yarn, turn my crochet hook where it's facing down. We've been working like this. Turn it like this and I'm going to pull through 
all seven loops on my hook. I'm going to chain five, three, four, and five. And now I'm here to the seven double cro crochets that we placed in that chain five. And we're going to do a double crochet cluster in the very first double crochet. Go ahead and do that. Pull through all four, chain three. And we're going to skip this next stitch, go into the next one, doing another double crochet cluster, just like so. And now we're going to chain three, one, two, three. We're going to skip the very next stitch, and we're going to go into this stitch, and we're going to do a double crochet cluster. Do, 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 do. Two and three. Pull through all four loops on your hook, chain four, or chain three. I did that too in the other video. Chain three in between your clusters. Skip this stitch and go into the very last stitch in this section, and we're going to do a double crochet cluster. Like that. And now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And now here we are where we're going to have to bridge that gap again. We've got the three double crochets here, and we want to um, cluster them together with the three double crochets over here. So we're going to go ahead and wrap our yarn, insert, pull up our loop, and pull through two, two loops on our hook. Do that again. Three loops on our hook. Do that again four loops on our hook. Right, we had a little technical difficulty, so now we are back. And we're going to go over here, and we're going to go ahead and bridge that gap and go into these next three double crochets, pulling up a loop. We're going to be clustering. We're doing the cluster of them all together. Do that pretty quickly now, I'm sure, if you've done this whole back panel. And now we're going to chain five, four, and five. We're going to go over here and we're going to do our double crochet cluster, just like so. I'll slow that down a little bit, just in case somebody needs to see that again. I doubt you guys do, <laughs> because you've been doing the other. But there's chain three, skipping the next stitch, going over here into this stitch. And we're going to chain one and do a double crochet in the top of that chain three from the previous row. And this is what our panel is going to end up look like. This is what we have here. So this is for the size large, extra large, and women's plus size 1x, 2x. And I'm going to show you how to go ahead and do your new um, round, or I'm sorry, row one that replaces the foundation ovals. We do it just like we did in the back of the card, the back panel of the cardigan. We're going to chain one, turn our work. Now we're going to put a single crochet right there in that very, very, very first stitch. One single crochet. Now we're going to chain two, and we're going to skip over to this chain three space and do a single crochet. Now we're going to chain five, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to do our double crochet directly into that little loop that we made in the center of our cluster. And we're going to chain five again, four and five. And we're going to do a single crochet in this chain three space. We've made it over here now to chain two. Go over here into the three chains, do another single crochet, chain two. Now we're going to skip over this, going into the three chain space, and do a single crochet. Now we are going to do our chain five again. I've got four. And we are over here again into this um, cluster space, and we're going to do our double crochet right there in that perfect little spot we made. We're going to chain five, three, four, and five. And we're going to come over here and do a single crochet in the chain three space, chain two. And we're going to count up on our row because this is a chain four. We want to be in the third stitch, one, two, and three, and do a single crochet. And then it's just going to continue on like you did on the rest of the back panel. You're going to chain up three, do two double crochets into your two, sp two chain space, chain five, do a single crochet. Beside this double crochet, a single crochet in the top of the double crochet, 
single crochet beside it, and so on and so forth. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and found it very helpful. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. It's really important. Um, it's a brand new channel, so I need all the support I can get. And um, keep in mind, we're going to have yet another tutorial, and that's going to be to show you how to sew up the sides and do the edging on it. Um, and like I said, any comments or questions, always, 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 you can put them down in the comments below. If you have any critiques, if you have any feedback at all, I would love to hear from you guys. So please don't feel shy. Please put it down below and let me know how I'm doing. And I hope to see you guys on the next tutorial for how to sew up your sides and do the border on your kimono cardigan. Thank you for watching. Have a great one.